going on, everybody? This is Gregory Laporte from GamerFitNation.com. I'm coming to you from virtual reality here. I see CES 2014 showcasing the piston console. This PC is console is it's, it's awesome. It's great. It's it's fly. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let her take over and just discuss it for you right now. So you know what? Just give us a little, little bit about the console. Okay, well, let's talk about it, Gregory. Um, basically, the Piston console is an entertainment. It's a PC, a gaming console, and it can run all of your media. Uh, it's cloud-based, so whether you want to use Steam or Origin or some other online game platform, you can do that for all of your gaming. Uh, the Piston goes to 4K res, and it can handle all of the most graphically recent challenging games out there. What's cool is uh, we were just playing a, good, uh, a couple games a minute ago. We have Half-Life 2 on the screen over here. And, you know, there was Half-Life 2, there was 2K14, you know. And the games, it's not like the games look, like, cheap, like this is, like, a cheap console. No, this, the games look crisp and clear, and everything's really good, you know. Um, and also, another thing I want to highlight, too, is the controller. This controller, it's, it's not like your average, you know, just plain old controller, you know. This, it looks like an Xbox 360 controller, but it's not entirely like that. But it has its own, like, unique things, especially with the back over here. We have the extra, um... The, the, for professional gamers with, with the, the shortcut buttons, kind of. Yeah, and then after, you know, the, 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 the analog sticks look very, you know, they're durable and, st and sturdy. It's not nothing really cheap here. So that's a, that's something that, you know, when if you guys do get this console, it's something you, you may want to check out in the near future. And also, the piston itself, like, it's, it's really, really small. Like, it's sleek. It's not terrible to look at. I mean, if you look at it here, like, you can't imagine that something this small can be that powerful and have something that amazing in it. Um, and also, you know, when I started off the interview and I had the Oculus Rift on, for the most part, I can't see anybody. And so, you know, I'm going to let Whitney right here and just kind of discuss how the Oculus Rift can combine the piston and the gameplay and how it all works together. Yeah, so Oculus Rift, it's all about three ways to play. So the piston, you can have it in your family room with the picture mode. You can have it in your office at a desktop with your mouse and keyboard, or you can have it on the go. So... You could put a piston in your backpack, take your Oculus Rift, a controller, and you're good because the piston only runs on 40 watts. It's super light, and everything's on cloud. So, yeah, Oculus is really a cool aspect of the piston. So now tell me, um, how much does it retail for? So piston console is $999, $1,000. And you have to remember, again, it's a console and a PC. comes with Windows 7 embedded under the hood. So but this just isn't just a console. You can also play um, apps and movies as well, too, right? Absolutely. So our version 1.0 of our Piston UI just came out. It lets you customize your menu. So if you're really big into Hulu or Pandora, you can have those ready to load right away on your, your UI. So now, what's, what, what else is going to be happening in the future for the Piston? You know, I know you guys just released a couple months ago. Anything new coming in terms of, you know, content, you know, apps or Special, specific piston made apps just for the console itself? We're working on a lot of exciting partnerships and ideas right now. One big thing that we've begun working about, started releasing information about, is we have a team back at XI3 in Salt Lake City that is working with doing a game optimization program. So right now, 50 of the most in highly challenging you know, graphical games um, those big popular games right now, all of them are dialed in, so the graphical settings are fine-tuned to the best settings for the piston. But you can also, with the UI, you can go in and change those if you want. So it's a hybrid between a console and a PC when it comes to gaming. All right, cool. Now, um, I mean, with next-gen consoles, everything come out. Um, what's, what's, what's one thing that separates this piston from everything else that's out there right now? I really think the size, the weight, and the fact that you know, XI3 is a green company, and we think it's really important to save energy, especially when you look at companies that have thousands of computers. But even just for the everyday user, the console runs on 40 watts. Uh, you think about a light bulb in a house, that's 60 watts. This piston runs on less energy than one light bulb. So to be able to game at such a high quality res um, with amazing graphics for that low, we think that's something that really sets us apart. So right there, if you guys want to save electricity, use your piston. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, I'm Gregory Laporte from GameFination.com. I'm here with Whitney at the XI with the piston. You know what? Peace.